What's up, y'all? You're watching Union Minded. I'm your host, Eric, and as you can see, I got my Joshua Cole merch on. We organized the Canvas event for this Saturday, and the weatherman lied to me. The weatherman is a lie. He said the rain was supposed to stop by 11, but he lied. It is still raining. It's still dumping. I'm only about a third of the way through my pack so far, but I did want to stop and tell you guys of the importance of getting out and putting your boots on the ground and putting in the work to get the folks into office that are gonna make a change for working people, not a change for the overlords. I was canvassing and I walked up to one door and the uh, gentleman met me at the door and he already knew, he looked at me and said, Josh Cole, right? I'm like, yeah, I'm canvassing for Josh Cole today. How you doing, sir? And he said, don't bother, I'm a Republican. I said, okay, sir, have a great day, and I walked away. But all I could think was how in this day and age you can still claim that and not have shame all over your face when you sit there and go, I'm a Republican. Really? After everything we've learned and everything they stand for, you're a Republican, and the guy had a veteran status on his truck, and I'm like, after they tried not to pass the PACT Act to help him out, it's really a sickness. Um, me, personally, I can't see it. It's antithetical to uh, anything decent um, but it is what it is you got folks that are you know hardcore in their mind and what they think is true and right they've been misled and they're still buying into it either that or the bigotry racism and oppression appeals to them and they like it because it doesn't affect them and it gives them somebody to look down on that's the other possibility and we have to be realistic with ourselves about what it may be what it may be that folks are voting for because it sure as heck can't be religion can't be because the teaching of Christ is completely different from what the Re Republican Party's ideology and policy proposals are. So it can't be that. It's got to be something else. But it's important for us to get in the fight. Us, when I say us, I mean folks that support working people and want to see working people um, have, have, have their fair share. They're tired of the inequality. They're tired of of the wage stagnation. They're tired of the attacks against women and the LGBTQ community. And so it's vital that we get our boots on the ground and get out there in the streets and let the people know who's gonna be fighting for them. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm so grateful for my friends who came out to help out. Special shout out, Jonathan Caravu. You already know you always a soldier. Chris Mosley, thanks for coming out. This is the second time in a row. Bro, every time I call out, you come out. So thank you. Robert Francis, thank you. What an amazing thing to have you run into uh, Jamie and you guys know each other from South Carolina. That's crazy. What a small world. And uh, Stacy Street, bro, you, you my hero today, man. You drove an hour and 45 minutes to come down here and help out. You my hero today. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody that came out to help. Let's keep on going. I got another two-thirds of a packet before I finish walking in this rain and getting it done um, thank you thank you thank you remember to do your part elections are ongoing now if you live in Virginia and you need to get out an early vote get out an early vote if you need to register to vote register to vote we have a critical election we need to flip the house blue so we can get some pro-labor legislation passed get out the vote get in the game don't sit on the sidelines because that would be a shame and in your own name put it down so we can get these clowns out of office you down? Yeah. Y'all remember the fight's not left and right. It's up and down. It's going to take class solidarity to win always. Each one, teach one, get out there and reach one. And there could be no union without you and I front and center. Peace.